Okay, Good I have to tell you that I had retinal tear and detachment earlier this year. I was told I was going blind. This happened in February. We thought that would be the big thing of the year. And then we had a global pandemic. So I learned a lot <laughs> about about low vision and some of the technology that can really help people out. Uh, first of all, tell me what low vision is versus blindness and what uh, is how it's caused. Yeah, so low vision is a term that many people would not be familiar with. Yeah. Um, it's actually a category of terms given to any eye condition, eye disease typically, that cannot be corrected with eyeglasses, vitamins, injections, surgeries. So some more familiar terms would be macular degeneration, yeah. diabetic retinopathy, cataracts, glaucoma. Those would be more familiar terms that people would understand. I see some technology that you have. We love our tech and it can help us out so much. <laughs> Where do we get started? Yeah, you bet. So, you know, you mentioned at home, um, yeah. getting access to it. Low vision is really impactful to daily activities. Yeah. Everything from reading the book, the newspaper, your mail, doing banking, really just staying independent. So this is a little digital uh, magnifier here. And what you'll notice is, um, unlike, I'll bring it a little closer for me. Um, so unlike the chip, uh, traditional optical magnifiers, this actually digitized the image across the flat screen and gives you a much larger real estate to read. So you have an awful lot of text up here. And what's really fantastic about this is it actually has a built-in magnification. Mm. If I can get that a little higher there and position, a little tricky, but there we go. Um, so you can see how it can get a lot more magnification. And the three tricks to low vision are magnification, lighting, and contrast. And in this okay. little portable device here, we have all three. We have a contrast setting, we have magnification setting, uh, and we have building lighting in the back. So we can really pop text, particularly newspapers, a good example, where the, you get that faintness on the text. Well, this placed on top will allow you to read easily, and I can change the contrast very, very easily as well to pop the text. So am I looking for a low vision magnifier? Is that what I would Google if I wanted to buy something? Yeah, low vision aids. In fact, we do have a website set up. It's mm -hmm. just lowvision.com, very oh. easy. So these products are featured on that yeah. as, as some others. And there's some education on there too as well. We have teams in California and Florida that can help educate people on what type of technology might work for them, things of that nature. What would be uh, the telltale sign? You know, I had floaters and I thought it was no big deal. It was a big deal <laughs> I learned quickly. What would be something that would tell you that you're having low vision that you didn't maybe realize? You know, I think it's strange. One of the things that we just don't pay enough attention to is actually our eyesight. And yeah. yet it's one of the biggest fears of us losing. Um, so my recommendation is annual checkups. Yeah. Go see your eye, your optometrist, your eye doctor at least once a year. Um, you know, heating healthy, doing things like that uh, is very important. But a lot of these uh, diseases are hereditary. Mm -hmm. And so there's not sometimes there's nothing you can do. But ensuring you catch these things early is really key. Yep. Yep. Yep, preaching to the crier, Richard. <laughs> so, so lighting, Good. contrast, magnification. Tell us where we can That's get right. more information again. Yes, lowvision.com. Nice okay. and simple. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.